Tracks Fire. Fire. Edmund the General, also known as the brand, coming at you guys with another video. Today, we're gonna take a look at this watch here. Um, they call it the Men Smartwatch 2.04 inch a mold smartwatch waterproof smartwatch fitness tracker heart rate blood oxygen sleeping monitor now the band length is 260 millimeters the band width 22 millimeters the weight 300 grams there is no sim card slot there is a voice assistant that is built in Bluetooth the Bluetooth capabilities is at 5.0 all right but this what this watch can actually do is actually measure the heart rate uh, the blood oxygen sleep monitor blood pressure blood sugar blood uh, sorry, the body temperature uh, steps distance tracker calorie tracker activity tracker and I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about this thing right here. This right here is the sensor. This is where you would have to put your finger on to read. So we'll get into that later on. Uh, touch screen, of course. Uh, the app name. Now, it says that it's Fit Cloud Pro, but it's not really that. Um, it's actually called something else. Uh, let's see if I can find. I think it's called H Band. H Band. So simply, when you go on, you just scan the uh, QR code, and they'll bring you to the site where you could either download the APK or directly from the Apple Store. Okay. Um, the band is detachable, so you can have it switch to something else um, it will potentially come with two depending on what you're getting uh, the battery is not detachable of course resolution is at 368 by 448 uh, screen size is a square as you can see case metal is steel definitely is waterproof yes uh, multiple dials, yes. There's a, there's a variety of dials. I'll show you guys that in a bit. Um, battery capacity, it's at 300 to 450 mAh. There is no camera on this watch. No camera. The RAM is at 128 megs and the ROM is at 128 megs. So you're looking at something really small here really small uh, the system is Android Wear or Android iOS uh, languages it does go by English Russian Spanish Portuguese Italian French German Korean all right now this I would say um, I think I've had this for over two, three weeks now. First day when you get it, it's recommending in the manual that you would have to do uh, a charge before you use it. I strongly recommend to do that, okay? Now, what this watch is actually called, let me get that out the way before uh, I miss anything. Because I had a discussion with uh, the manufacturer. They said that this model is called the ET580. Now, this, as you can see right there, the battery life is at, I would say, 50%, just by looking at it by the eyes, okay? I did this charge once a few weeks ago just for one like I would say I would say almost about a month now you know what let's call it a month I would say one charge daily use 
sleeping monitoring, checking the blood pressure, checking the, the sugar, uh, checking the, the body temperature, playing the music, uh, answering phone calls, because it does have a uh, Bluetooth phone call capability. Um, you answer your phone through here so you could speak to it through the, through the, through the watch. for approximately about a month. And I gotta give this the kudos. The, the battery on light on this thing is incredible. I, I've never seen anything like that in a long, long, long time. Uh, so you guys could tell this is a bit dirty. I'm gonna have to <laughs> wash this down. It's the kind of work that I do, right? Um, but yeah, let's go through it, okay? Now, when you get the app, the app alone, if you go through the, the, the dial download, it'll have a variety of options to choose from. I'm actually using the phone that would have the actual um, app on it. So you won't be able to see it, that unfortunately. Because I don't got it on this one, and I don't got it on this one, and I definitely don't got it on the other one. So, um, yeah, go figure, right? Uh, if you take a look, at least the basics, this is what you're getting. Now, I left the protection on. I haven't removed that at all. I'm not so sure if there will be an actual glass protection just in case. So I just left it on. It's not really a big issue, but as you can tell, it does leave, if I could even wait for this to turn off in a few seconds. Probably this isn't doing any justice, but there's like a blue film. So whenever it goes on, it gives off like a blue uh, background. So these are the stock options that you could choose from. And of course, whenever you see something like this, you can of course change that to your own thing. Okay, so we got that out of the way. Now, scroll to the right. Definitely you have access to the keypad, to the phone. Go through your contact list, call history. You can make phone calls. It goes, when you make your phone calls, it goes to the phone, but you can of course, uh, use this as your actual receiver. Okay, if you go back, you can always hit this to go back or to even turn it on. Now, if you click on it again, it gives you the like a wheel. If you scroll through here, nothing happens. Nothing. One of my buddies uh, was telling me that it looks similar to the Apple Watch. Yeah, I, I told him I, I get it. I used to have one of those. Just leave that away. It's like trash. Um, let's see what else it can do. So as you scroll, it does the heart rate. does the blood oxygen. shows your activities. Sleep. ECG. Blood component body composition stress <laughs> uh, that was in, that was new for me to see it actually measures the amount of stress that you have blood pressure, yeah, body temperature, blood glucose, MET, HRV, your breath, notifications, music, cycle tracking. The camera here, that's only for the actual phone device that it's connected to. Weather, yeah, stopwatch, timer, alarms, torch, again, applies to the watch, sorry, to the phone. And the find applies, of course, yes, to the phone. But it can't necessarily be like 100 feet away from it or 50 feet away. As long, 
if it gets out of range you're not going to be able to find your, your, your phone it's only going to be able to find your phone if it's in close proximity that's all it's going to be useful for voice assistant as you can see you can click on that or you hold it you say whatever it is that you want your phone to say and it will work calculator and the game and the settings all right now I can go into showing about the health monitor screen display and all that you know let's go to screen display let's do that instead if I go through the other functions like these for example this is too um, invasive too private you know what I'm saying even though I'm, I'm healthy but it's none of y'all business about what my heart rate is or what my blood oxygen levels are how long do I sleep for like none of this is is, is any of y'all business right but you can control the music that's on the phone and it does show here the last thing that I was listening to which was Queen's Flip which was through YouTube alright um, overall though I gotta say this is it's not a bad watch at all um, no issues so it does last a long time when it comes to the battery life as you can see it's, it's almost a month now and it's only at the halfway point um, depending on which option that you choose you can you would have to hold on to this with one of your fingers so that it could properly read you especially when it comes to uh, your heat and uh, your blood oxygen levels and your stress levels as well this is a very, this is the one area that you would have to hold on with your finger while it reads. It's not 100% accurate, I would say, because uh, you would have to go actually, actually to a doctor uh, to get accurate or close to accurate readings. Um, but I wouldn't necessarily rely on any watch or any of these devices that you have around as to get anything that would be somewhat concrete. That's just my opinion. Uh, but overall, on a scale of 1 to 5, I would give this a 4. I think my only gripe with this is that the screen isn't bigger. Because I'm used to the big screen, but it's at 2.04, it's not that bad. It uses a two-pronged magnetic um, cable in order for this to be charged. Uh, that's the actual sensor, of course. This is where you would do the uh, disconnecting of the actual watch itself, of the, of the band, right? And look at that. Something I didn't want to do. Something I didn't want to do. But there you go. So you can customize that to whatever it is you want it to be customized to, as in the band. Uh, there's another one that I got, it's like a mesh of some sort. You can even get the steel if you would like, or just go into one of those watch repair shops and get whatever it is that you want to do. I saw somebody have like all this uh, blinged out. I don't see the point of doing that. In any case, um, four to five. I like the watch, 50%, still going strong. One charge, guys, one charge. That's it for now. Edmund the General, I'm out. Peace.